So, so here we are again. Um, you'd be pleased to know that the truck came out really, really well. I'm really chuffed with the colour. That dark green has done it justice. Now, just in case you're wondering about how I managed to get a brand new axle on it, I shall show you. That one for the back and that one for the front. And yes, the wheels do turn. I shall show you how I did it. All you need is, if you've got them, a pop rivet. Like this. Whoops, yeah, drop one. A normal pop rivet. This is a larger size. All I've done is slide the collar off. I'll then have this. This is the same diameter as the original axle. And the rounded end, this one's a tiny bit bigger. Just a fraction, but it's nice and shiny. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite long enough to pass through the chassis with the wheel on and to round off, as you can see. About five mil too short so scratched my head for a minute or two thought what can I do I then remembered I have an abundance of this alloy tubing and lo and behold these pop rivets slide right in there nice and tightly so all I did was I cut a length to fit right in the centre there between the two wheels so, filed it down so it was nice and flat I then cut these to length approximately a centimetre from the end with the wheel on threaded it once I placed the shaft the tube in between the two halves I then use a very fine if I can find it, I've put it down somewhere. There it is. This, believe it or not, is an ophthalmic tool for removing cataracts. So it comes in handy for this sort of thing. A dab of my favourite Gorilla Glue gel. Dab of that. Just pop some down inside the tube, not too much. And with the wheel in place, I just slid. If I can get hold of the blimmin' thing. That down into the tube. And did the same for the other side. Left enough gap so that the wheels turn nicely. And hey presto, that is pretty solid, it's pretty straight. It's not going to bend like the other one did. And because the two shafts of the rivet are in there, approximately touching in the middle, that strengthens it from the inside, so it's not going to bend at all. And like I said, I did exactly the same for the front and the wheels turn nicely. Hubcaps might be a bit shiny, but what I'm thinking of doing, because most army trucks didn't have big shiny hubcaps, I might just paint those in green. So that is that for the moment. Just thought I'd quickly show you uh, what I did. The best part about this model is it's going to put it back together. It's going to be so simple. Uh, no effort at all. At all. I've managed to find online brand new tyres. This one's not too bad, but I thought I'd get a load more. Now, a packet of 20 is only about six, seven pounds. So, if I find another vehicle of a similar size and age, I'll be able to do it. So, yep, I'm more than happy with that. And also, I managed to find some decals. And if you remember, the model had decals, like a red and yellow flag on the front uh, uh, wheel wing there, and on the rear. And they were only a couple of pounds as well. So I'm not going to put it together at the moment. I mean, I suppose I could fit it together just to make sure it all looks pretty hunky dory. It should go together like that, and like I said, with a bit of grill glue on the base, there is the truck.
with its brand new axles. At the end of the day it's going to go into a display case so no one's really going to see that and I'm more than happy to do that with that uh, quick repair. Oh, what I did buy as well, originally this actually came with a canopy top and through the same website as I purchased the tyres from they to a tin canopy, reproduction canopy which comes unpainted so that will be arriving hopefully sometime next week so when the tyres are on and the canopy is painted I'll be showing you a very short video on uh, the final thing uh, probably touch up the headlights as well put some red detailing or what was probably the back lights here as well um, yeah I might just do a little bit of fine detailing who knows see what time I've got but that is that for the moment so thank you for watching I know three videos in one day are relatively short so uh, feel free to ask me any questions any suggestions and if you like it then leave me some positive feedback I think it's looking pretty good I just found this one in the cupboard so uh, who knows this might be featured soon absolutely ancient Citroen DS19 made in uh, England by Lesney so that's going to be a bit of a an easy one to do because these early ones again no glass insert very basic casting not much in the way detailing at all this old paint very thick um, and also back in the day wait for the camera to focus if I can the wheels weren't rounded off well, they were one end see that but on the other end all they did was clamp them off and crimp them to a flat end like that so hopefully I'll be able to do the same. It's going to be a bit. Oh, I'm going to have to take it apart and do the back because the back end's a bit um, different. It's covered by the body of the car. Well, that's another day, and I might even not do it yellow. I might. Fa I'd fancy doing it a different colour. Not really keen on yellow. Don't know. Might do it white. They came in black. I might do it some funky colour. Who knows? There's not a lot to detail, so it's got basic headlight shape, but nothing really on the rear to show that there's rear lights, so who knows. But anyway, there you go. That's the army truck. All done. Headlights to do. When the wheels arrive, that will be that. So, until next time, I shall bid you goodbye. That's another one to do. And I think, judging by the holes, it probably has some sort of personnel on it. Or maybe something else that's sl slotted inside. Might have had another canopy. I don't know, but that's another day. And thankfully, the tyres on this, which are exactly the same as the other one, are in very good condition. So, I bid you farewell. Until next time. Thank you for watching.